Hi, and welcome to this FONAF coffee break. My name is René Brummel. I'm a product specialist at FONAF and I will be your presenter today. As this coffee break is live, you can ask your questions via the go to webinar question window. We will answer them at the end of the coffee break. Today, we're going to look at advanced field formatting to your Business Central reports. To demonstrate how to add advanced field formatting to, to your Business Central reports, we'll use the standard reports from the FONAF customizable report pack. However, you can add advanced field formatting to any report in any extension using the instructions from this coffee break. To demonstrate adding field formatting to your Business Central reports, I'm going to use these steps. Prerequisites, what do we need to get going? In step two, I will add formatting. In step three, I will add formatting for a specific language. In step four, I will add conditional formatting. Let's start with the first step. Today, I will be adding advanced formatting in a Business Central on-premise Docker installation with the Business Central 2020 Wave 2 release. I've installed the FONAF customizable report pack and I've executed the step-by-step -step wizard from the assisted setup to get started. Of course, everything I do today is also available on the Business Central Cloud environment. I also have the FONAF Designer installed on my PC. The FONAF Designer can be downloaded from the FONAF website. Please notice, you will need FONAF version 5.4 or above. There are two ways of formatting with .NET format via the format property of a text box or via JavaScript. Let's go and have a look. So today I will be, I will be playing with a 4NAV sales template. So I'll just find the sales template and start editing it in 4NAV. In this report, we have some date strings like we have the, the document date here, which I may want to format differently. Let's preview it to see what it looks like right now. You will notice it just prints the document date, uh, 24th of January, 2022. Let's change this to say, to say it spells out the, uh, the whole date. And to change the format of one of these text boxes, you can select the text box and simply scroll down until you find the format string property. And if you drill down there, you will notice you can uh, uh, you can add a format string uh, through a format string editor, so you don't need to figure everything out yourself. So you can choose uh, MMDDYYY or the other way around, or uh, one of the big ones. Uh, let's uh, pick this one and hit OK. And preview. You will notice that will change the format of our document date. Then, after we've used the format string, we can reset this property or delete it. Uh, we can also set the formatting of a text box with JavaScript. And to do so, we can simply call in the functions the curreport.net format, where the first variable is the, the field you want to format, and the second variable is the format, uh, the string format. So I've just copied the, the format we've just created with, uh, with the format editor, uh, YYY, MMDD. And let's say I want to change these spaces to these uh, dashes to spaces. Hit OK. And preview again. And you will notice FORNAV now uses the JavaScript command to format the document data. So those are two ways of formatting specific text boxes. But in some cases, you may want to set a specific for formatting. Uh, in some cases, you may want to set formatting using a specific language, for instance, for a currency or a date. Like the normal formatting, you can do this both with a property and with the JavaScript expression. So let's go back to 4NAV. 
And let's play with the uh, second date, the due date. And in the second date, I'm first going to use the, the format string property. And in the format string, I will use the F, which is one of the standard.NET types, which uh, will change to Wednesday, 2nd of December, 2020. I hit OK and preview. And that will change my format string to my uh, to the default language that's installed on my system, which is Dutch. Um, of course, uh, this being an English customer, I want this to be printed in the format of uh, in the language of the report, which you can do as well. We go to find the report properties. In the report properties, we have a new property called format using report language. If I set this to true. and hit preview, you will notice it now uses the uh, uh, the English, uh, the American uh, formatting, uh, 24th of February, 2020. And that's because my report is uh, printed in English. Of course, we can do this with JavaScript as well. Uh, we can uh, play with something else than a date like a currency. We have the amount here which we may want to display in a different currency. And to do this, once again, let's add coreport.net format. First value is header.amount. The second value is C for currency. And the third value that we've not discussed before uh, is 1033, which is English USA. So this, uh, this last value specifies that I want to format my uh, my text box using English American. Let's hit OK. Make this one blue so it stands out a little bit. And there we go. That formats our amount to uh, seven thousand four hundred thirty-eight dollars fifty, and you notice that the uh, uh, the periods are correct as well. So I have a comma for the thousand separator and a period for the uh, decimal separator. Of course, we can do this with dates as well. Let's reset our format string for the date. And let's, uh, let's play around with the due date. Once again, go report.net format. First value is our header.due date. The second value is the D for the fully specified date. And the third value is 1033. Once again, English USA. And let's make this one red and preview. And that gives us the Thursday, February 24th, 2022. So the United States date, date notation. And if I want a European date notation, then of course I can change my uh, language. I can change it to 1043, for instance, which is Dutch. And preview. And once again, this gives me uh, Donderdag 24 February, the Dutch uh, date notation. So the Dutch translation of my date. And these uh, language codes are the Microsoft specific uh, language codes, uh, which you can find. I will provide you with a link to this table. Um, you can find the link based on the, the language code you want to use. Finally, we want to add conditional formatting. When we send our document to a, to a contact in the US, we want a US style date format. We went to, when we send the document to a contact in Europe, we want a European style format. Of course, this is a great thing about doing things with JavaScript inside Fornav, because with JavaScript, we can start playing around with uh, condition, conditions. So what we can say is we can find the header cell to country region code. We can check if that is US. 
And if it is US, then let's copy my format. If it's US, we use the US date code. And if not, we use the, uh, the Dutch date notation. Of course, most reports will be printed in English. So let's, let's use the uh, English UK notation, which is 2057. So what this line of JavaScript says is if header cell to region code is US, then use uh, a curreport.net format at a due date D and 1033. If it's not, then use the .NET format for language code 2057. And if we preview this one, the first preview will be a customer for uh, Great Britain. So we have the British date notation, 24th of February, 2022. And let's preview this again, but for a United States customer, which is progressive home furnishings. You will notice it uses the uh, United States English date notation, Saturday, February 5th, 2022. Let's recap what we just did. We found that we can change the text box formatting by changing the format property. Then we notice it's also possible to change the format by JavaScript. We can also set the language we want to use to format our text box by setting the format using report language property or by specifying the language code with JavaScript. Finally, we made the formatting conditional using JavaScript. As I promised, uh, some resources, you can read more about formatting language code in JavaScript in 4NAV in these resources. Thank you for listening to me so far. I see we don't have any questions at the moment, so I will continue with wrapping up this uh, this webinar. If you do have any questions, type them in the question box and we will answer them before this webinar is over. If you want to know more, uh, please visit www.fornav.com uh, where you can also download the latest version of the converter and the designer. If you want to use Fornav in, uh, in cloud, you can install it from the Microsoft App Source. Simply open the App Source and search for Fornav. If you wanted to watch more of these coffee breaks or other videos, uh, please visit the 4NAV YouTube channel. If you have any questions, uh, if you're watching this remotely uh, via YouTube, you can ask your questions via support at 4NAV.com. Of course, we'll continue our coffee break format for a list of upcoming and recorded coffee breaks. Please visit 4NAV.com slash coffee break. And as always, if you have any topics for future 4NAV coffee breaks, let us know. And if we do a coffee break about your topic, then we you win two prizes. The first, of course, is, is a coffee break about your topic. And the second one is a 50 euro or dollar gift certificate as thank you. With that, we have no questions at this moment. So thank you very much for listening. And I will speak to you in the next coffee break. Goodbye.